over to you, David, to introduce yes. Uli. I get to do the handoff um, to Uli Spaltoff. Uh, Uli is technically retired because he had a very successful career um, working in high technology uh, sectors, uh, leadership positions and businesses in Germany and France, uh, a lot of innovation management work and so forth. And uh, when he uh, decided to step away from, from that work, uh, he decided that he would like to uh, contribute his expertise to uh, some social entrepreneurship. And among the groups that uh, is very blessed to have his assistance is our human dignity community. So Uli has not only served, uh, and I will say tirelessly, as the editor of the Dignity Press, uh, but he is also now uh, helping us to build our um, digital infrastructure for the World Dignity University by creating not only a learning platform, but also a, a, a conversation forum that will allow us to engage in dialogue uh, to continue some of these discussions that we have here in these meetings. So uh, with that said, uh, Uli, thank you so much for joining us and for the work that you've already done. And we look forward to, we're gonna get a little mini tutorial about what's in store for us in terms of resources that we'll have uh, it, for our upcoming next chapter. Uli, take it away. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, David, for your introduction and, and for your advanced praise. Uh, but uh, I think it uh, will be like last year. It will be, for me, uh, a presentation which is not showing what there is and so on. It is for me is the goal to to motivate you and and this time i'm feeling much better than last year because i see this community now really focusing and and being active uh, working on on the things which are at my heart also this uh, this platform for for advancing the human dignity course i'm not an uh, teacher, I'm not a researcher on, on social matters, I'm just a technical expert. Uh, just as uh, David just said, I was in a, a company which was more in high tech, it was Alcatel Lucent, where I spent many years in technology management and research, being also as part of the Lucent Bell Labs in, in the last years. Uh, so, so this is not uh, what you are doing all together. This is for me uh, uh, something very advanced. So for me, this is not easy stuff to, to do this work, uh, which you are doing. For me, the easy part is the technical time and uh, terms and the technical work to assist you in your, in your activities. So, and this is what I want to show today very shortly because uh, I have to be skipping over many things which are important, but I just want to lure you into this system so that some of you uh, come come to me towards me and then they say, okay, let, let me be part of that technical team and uh, of the content producing team for our World Dignity University initiative. And uh, before I go forward, uh, uh, showing you the website, what is available and what is still needed there, uh, I will just show, show you the link where you find this website, worlddignityuniversity.org. That's the name where you can, even if you like, you can go there anytime. And if you would like to see more than it is visible to the public, you send me an email to this, please send me an email to this email address. And uh, there, then I can grant you access to the uh, registered part because not every, everything on the website is ready and finished and well polished so that it is publicly available. 
So, but uh, I'm happy to share anything with you if you just tell me you are interested. Okay, so let's say, say um, what I, once again, my goal, and I invite you to follow me with this. Uh, I would like to make you familiar with this website. You, uh, I showed the link. I would like to solicit the feedback uh, because uh, I have designed it just now according as I liked it and so on. And I got some feedback from a small group of people, but uh, it will be very, very helpful if I get all sorts of feedback from you and uh, also the things which are not optimal. Uh, which uh, which need to be improved. These are the most important feedback things. So uh, as you uh, in software design, uh, there is a is a base rule which you have to follow. This is what you design must be. It must make sense to the user. It's not just uh, uh, some playing around and and doing what you like. It must make sense to you, and that's what I need to know. So uh, my question to you, please send feedback. How can you use that? Can you use it at all? And what is missing to you? And uh, how could you imagine to be part of that in the future? So let's go uh, to the web website after this. I will share my screen now. And uh, okay, take this. And here again, you see you see uh, my email address for the feedback, and no, not here, but here you see again the link, which was probably not seen before, as I forgot to share my screen. Sorry. So here we have the website, and uh, I can make it a little bit larger. This is the, how it looks like for most people on a computer screen, but it is designed in a way that you also can use it if you have a mobile phone or a tablet, then it looks like just like a little bit smaller and, and differently, but the same content is there. It's just uh, ordered in a different way. You see, for instance, here we have this hamburger menu instead of the visible menu, which is visible on the, on the screens. And, you also have a search function, which uh, when, if you like to, to find something specific, you can use that. And uh, he, what I want to show shortly is all these parts which are in the main menu, and then just go around what is else on the website. For instance, here we have the footer, which gives the legally important things of terms of use and privacy policies, so you know, uh, what is happening uh, if you uh, visit our websites i can uh, uh, ensure you we are not uh, doing it like google or others we are not having profiles of our visitors we are not collecting any data we are not analyzing uh, you as you visit the website uh, this is not at all our intention and then you see there is a login form which you, where you, if you have a, have a password, uh, where you can log in to see some things which are not visible to most people. If I, for instance, go here to the partners page, you see there are no articles because the partner page I see is not, not ripe to be published because all the partners need to agree to be shown there and so on. So this is only for registered users. So going back home, you see this login form, there is no registration button. So if, uh, because uh, if I put that button, I get from all the world and from all the um, uh, spam bots of the world, I get the, the questions to be registered and uh, then I'm over, overwhelmed. So the way to register is that you ask me and send me an email and then I will register you. And, and then as soon as you are registered, you can uh, correct your profile, you can uh, change your password uh, to have a secret one and so on. So this is, and then we have some, some parts of the website. For instance, here we have a Digni block uh, where I just recently 
added a, a nice essay from uh, our member Lee Land Beaumont and uh, the future of education is learning, where he showed how the future uh, is changing and the, and the situation of changing. And also he, he analyzed all these, uh, these online ways of learning, similar as, as uh, David has uh, suggested to do that. So there are many interesting things where you can, so I will not read that, uh, I leave that to you. This is publicly available. So thank you to Lee for, for contributing this. And this is also uh, inviting you, if you have something on the, on the topic of the World Dignity University you would like to share with us, just let us know, uh, design the text and the pictures as you want, and, and then we can put it here so that it is visible to the community and to others. And uh, David also mentioned uh, that we are having the idea to, to establish a resource and knowledge base about dignity matters. And uh, this is the very, very uh, small beginnings of all that. So uh, for instance, we have here an, an article about the Amazon project, which was a World Dignity University initiative by Mariana Vergara. I'd like to greet her. She is also in the audience just now. And uh, I, I have a paper which I just as an example put there uh, with, with a nice title, Dignity and the Internet, which is of, for me, it, I thought it was quite interesting. And so we have this way of, of putting these resources into the system. And later then you can check what is new or you can uh, organize that these are resources in another way of organizing. But how to organize that? Of course, we need someone who has more or less a librarian to do that if you have more. But uh, the tools are there. Okay, then I think this is one of the cores of our of our website. What are we doing? Not only what are we talking about, but what is, is really ongoing. So we had in October, we had this workshop, which uh, David had organized in to, together with other universities and colleges, which is announced here. And, and then there are some planned and future activities. You see this on, on this. So everything you suggest and we, we agree to have it in our context will be shown here. And uh, if you are a little bit more, uh, uh, more, um, more practically educated how to do it, you can put it yourself there. So, and if you don't know how to do it, you can learn. This is one of the courses I'm preparing just now. I call it Joomla for dignity activists. Joomla is the software system, uh, which is the basis of all these websites. And uh, so if, we, if you go here, uh, then you can go to the course. Probably you don't see it because I'm not locked in just now. So this, uh, the course is not ready, but I can, I can log in just now to see the difference. So I will register myself. Where is it? Where am I? So many passwords. Just a moment. Okay, and now I will go to the course again. Oh no, sorry, there is a mistake, which was not there last week. So I will check. Uh, so this is sometimes, uh, that's, it's time consuming to find all these errors. But if you find some more of these errors, please tell me. So I, I have created some, some co course modules for that, which will of course take some hours, but uh, but I'm sure most of you will, will be able then to log in and create your own content and, and take care of the course which you may be offering in the future. Okay, so you see now there's also an, a new link uh, for people, which is not yet public because uh, the founders and, and who we are and so on, this needs to be uh, agreed by the, the, all those people. And, and then the final uh, 
menu part, which I would like to share with you is a very new one, which is now a forum. This was uh, suggested by some weeks ago to have that. And uh, I have added a forum software to that, which uh, is then more or less a better system to exchange ideas. So I have just now not much into it because I rely on you to fill that forum, but there's an introduction. Oh no, I have to look out. There's a, yeah, there are all these stuff which I really need to do. So there's an introduction to the forum and uh, the netiquette how to behave in that forum is uh, shown here. I call it the or someone has called it the five agreements. I like that a lot. Going back. And, uh, and I also have an issue tracker where you can uh, put everything which does not work for you uh, so that I can take care of that. So this is the thing which, uh, which are just beginning. So we need to, to add new topics to that. And if I add any topic, then uh, you, everyone, if I make it public, can just reply to that, can add new topics, can add replies. You know, most of them, most of you will be familiar with the system, how a forum works. So here, you, for instance, you can post a reply and so on. Uh, the credentials for that are the same as for the login here. So if I log in here, this will be the same username and password, which is also used in the forum. So that makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so now go, going back to the away from the forum, but uh, don't forget it. it. It is your place uh, for all these uh, starting discussions of today to continue that and, and to keep in touch with all the people who are interested in that. And then I would like to have very, very shortly only uh, some more technical remarks on that. So if you see such a website, for instance, like the one of the Digni book, you have this menu parts and so everything is, is st uh, static or more or less the same for all the website. Then you have the login form, then you have, you have the main content here like this article and that is the latest one. And below that, you have some more articles which were published in that blog before. And if you want to look at the older articles, they are at the bottom. So you see, we have already quite a, quite a number of, of articles over the last years in that blog, which you can retrieve if you are interested in that. Then we have here on the side below the login, uh, for instance, uh, we have here some, some module. I, it is called a module, which is a place on the website which is reserved for, for some specific content. This is the quotes module. And uh, I have uh, created it in a way that on every page you move, you get another quote from someone. So in the just now here, you see it's a quote from a book. And if I go to the next one in the knowledge base, it's a quote. So you get, we have a couple of quotes, uh, which are uh, from famous people, from less famous people, but they, they are related to human dignity. I invite you to share your quotes. You will maybe also know some nice sayings. Uh, and and we, I would like to add them here also. Uh, this is the easiest way to, uh, to contribute to the web page. So if you have something, just tell us. Okay, so this is the way uh, how it is looking just now, but uh, very, very important for me is nothing is fixed. This is a suggestion to you uh, to look at and then to show, uh, to tell me uh, this does not work or I expect something different and I would like to have this and that and, th and so on. And please don't hesitate to, to come with such suggestions. I will take them very seriously because 
as I said, this system is for you, not, not for me as something I, I, I like to do. Uh, so if, if I get <laughs> responses from you, then this uh, would, me, would make me very, very happy. So you see here again, the same system. We have a couple of articles there. And uh, if there are more articles, you find them in these resources lists. And you will, can also search through all that. The, we also have, I have created a section on videos here. These are just examples. I know that there exist many, many more. Uh, so someone who would like to show, uh, to tell me uh, we need this and that video, just tell me and send me the link and I will be happy to add that here. Uh, so this I'm relying on you because uh, I don't want to search everything which is available only by me and put it there and I'm not sure anyone is interested in that. But if you send it to me, then I know at least one person besides me is interested in that. Okay, that's it for the moment. Uh, I think in the, even in the about, yeah, okay, this is a frequently asked questions where I explain some things. Uh, the contact uh, uh, page is there. And here again, you have the legal stuff. So that's about us what I, and about the website, what I wanted to say. And again, uh, for, for you, very easy way without much uh, learning, uh, you can step into these forums. Uh, and I would, for instance, be very happy if you tell me I would like to have a forum on this topic, then I will create it. And uh, a new forum, uh, I think I, I, I will create it by myself, not everyone. Otherwise, the list would be uh, not manageable anymore. But that's, that's what I invite you. Tell me which type of forum you would like to see. And then uh, we open it uh, either to a group of registered users or to the public as you as you like, and uh, then we can start uh, contributing to the discussion and we have it all in one place. I find this much, much better than discussing in online. For me, I, I lose track. Uh, if I get 100 emails per day and there are 10 of various topics and uh, I cannot guarantee that uh, after two weeks, I still find that again and, and and uh, can make a meaningful use of those emails. But if I have a space here where I can really look into that and I know that it's there, then it can be retrieved and we can build on that very easily. Okay, so I think this was my very, very quick tour. Yes, uh, yeah. thank you so much. I can't even begin to express my appreciation. This reflects hours and hours and hours of work in support of this initiative. So we have to give Uli a big round of applause. Maybe we should put you in the center and, and stop your sharing just a minute, Uli, so we can I truly will, thank so. you and get a picture with you. Okay, I will stop the sharing. Bravo, bravo. Everyone, please give him a huge round of applause. We are gonna do our best, Uli. I promise you to not overdose you with our emails, but we will overdose you with love for this amazing accomplishment because it's truly amazing. And how would you like us to e let you know you wanna meet, want us to join the forum and then we can talk about things? Is that the best way to do that? Uh, yes, the best way for me would be that I have a lively, uh, uh, community in the forum exchanging uh, thoughts good. and ideas and uh, to create that for the moment as I said I will not make the forum registration uh, public to so that anyone in the world can register I will make it uh, by, by administration only so please send me an email you get the password this password is valid for the website and for the forum and uh, and you can log in on either place and you will be logged in also simultaneously to the other one. Uh, Very good. 
and uh, this is and then tell me which topics I should put prominently into the forum as as uh, I would say the major categories and then beyond one uh, level below that it's up to you to add anything there. Very good, Uli. Please give him another round of applause. Thanks so much, Uli. Thank you for being with us today because there's so much what we can do with this new platform and we're excited about it. I see Bonnie has a question. Bonnie, do you want to turn on your camera and ask your question before we move on? Uh, your microphone, turn on your microphone, please. Okay, Bonnie, we're coming back to you. We'll have to figure out that microphone. So sorry about that. We'll check it. We'll check it out. Uh, or you can write your your question in the chat. Maybe that'd be the best way. But right now, my gosh, you know, one of our goals as uh, the community is to always leave people wanting more. And I think we've heard some incredible talks today. This exciting new platform, David. Your workshop in the workshop within a workshop worked and we had to be convinced that it was going to work so you just did a great job of leading so please give david a round of applause for leading us through this process that was fantastic 